Hey guys, welcome to On Your Marks. My name's Carlos, and today I'm going to be showing you how to synchronize BL Heli speed controllers. So I ran into an issue the other day where one prop would drop before the rest. So I'd be flying along, minding my own business, having some fun, and slam the throttle down to do a quick flip. Every time I go and sl slam the throttle down, the same exact prop would drop. So every time I did, the quad would go like this. That was posing to be a big issue for me. Because every time I would go to do a flip, it kind of gave me some erratic behavior. It was always the same exact direction. Now, I do have motor spin on on my flight controller. So that as long as it's armed, the motors keep spinning and I should still have full control. I checked my PIDs. Everything flew fine except for when I cut the throttle. So I knew it had to be something else. That led me to believe it was the ESCs. So the problem is my ESCs weren't synchronized with each other. One was doing things that the other three were not. So I'll show you here how we're going to fix that. So this is the speed controller that I'm using. It's a Racer Star RS20A times four. Basically it's four speed controllers built into one, the same size as my flight controller. Now this flight controller does come with the option to connect using servo leads directly to the flight controller, but instead I chose to direct solder. So I cut all of these wires here and soldered directly to the pads on the flight controller that I'm using. It made for a nice clean setup, but doesn't really work well for changing the settings if I have to later. Now I'm going to be modifying these settings by using the BL Heli Suite. So you'll want to go on to blhelisuite.wordpress.com. There's going to be a trail of links that you have to follow to download it. So follow all the links, go through it all, download it, and get it loaded onto your computer. Once you open it, it should look something like this. It's not connected to anything at the moment, but we're going to take care of that now. I've connected my flight controller and I know it's going to be on COM3 because that's the COM that Clean Flight uses. So Clean Flight's using COM3 over here. That's the same COM I'm going to want to select into this program. Another thing you'll want to take note of is the fact that your quadcopter should be powered up in order to do this. So what you want to do is plug it in so your speed controllers have power and make sure you remove all the props first. You're going to be messing with the speed controllers and you don't want it taking off on you by accident. Once the flight controller is hooked up and the battery is connected, you're going to want to select your interface. So over here, I'm using the Scilabs BL Heli bootloader. In parentheses, you see this one says Clean Flight. Now, you might have to experiment. It'll tell you if you have the wrong one. You might have to use the Atmel, depending on your ESCs, but this particular one's going to use the Scilabs one here. So I'm going to select that, change the COM3 here, and click Connect. Now that it's connected, you can see it says multiple ESC here. So what we want to do is go over here, click on Check, it's going to pull up information on all the speed controllers. Now ESC number one is the master. So that's the one that the software wants all the other ones to match when it comes to settings. You can see ESC two doesn't say a whole lot other than it's the slave. ESC number three says that the setup is not in sync with the master. Now ESC number three could very well be our problem. If that one doesn't shut down as quick as the other motors do, that would cause that end of the quadcopter to rise, which would be causing my problem. Now this is a really simple fix from this point. All we have to do is click on Right Setup. So click on Right Setup. You see that these three were already in sync. There is nothing to write. Speed controller number three just says Write OK. Now if you notice here, before the number three was gray, it's now green. So one's the master. All of these are the slaves in the color of green. And three was gray before. But now it's green and saying that it's synced up with all the other ones. So our problem should be fixed at this point. Now we take it outside and take it for a flight. And you can see that every time I cut the throttle, it stays perfectly level. It's not having any issue at all. So this was definitely the issue and it completely sorted it out for us. If this video was helpful for you, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment to us about it. Stay tuned because we're going to be putting out more videos like this. So if there's anything in particular you would like to see about Clean Flight, BL Heli, or anything of the sort, just drop us a comment, let us know, and we'll take care of it for you. Until then.